Our first guest tonight is a talented actress you know from films such as 21 Bridges, American Woman, and Factory Girl. She stars in Anatomy of a Scandal, which begins streaming April 15th on Netflix. Let's take a look. You're not going to be springing any surprises on us, are you, Sophie? Such as? Well, announcing that you're leaving, putting on your side of the story. Do you need to ask? Of course I do. Of course she's not leaving. Sorry, darling, I didn't mean to. Of course I'm not leaving. We've been married for 12 years. We share two children. Why would I throw all that away over a stupid mistake? Please welcome back to the show our friend Sienna Miller, everyone. So lovely to see you Hi. in person again. So nice to see everybody in person. I know, yeah. isn't it wonderful yeah. to be in front of people and a everything? Live human with a live, live audience. audience. It's very nice. Incredible. I do want to follow up from the last time you were here. You were talking about you wanted to find the sort of work that maybe your daughter could engage in. Because yeah. you do a lot of sort of R-rated adult <laughs> fair. This is not that. No, this no. is not a show for nope. kids. No. What is your I mean, because you don't do, you know, again, these are uh, you know, these are wonderful, but like, you know. Intense. Adult fair, does your daughter even, what does she think you do? I mean, she must know you're she an actress. Know, you yeah. know, she's going to be 10 in July, so she's seen a little bit of this. And yeah. we fast forwarded the really highly inappropriate moments, of which there are a few. Yeah. But, um, but you know, she, she actually, I was doing a play in London and she said, can I watch it? And I said, no, it was Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, which starts off kind of, you Yeah, know, very fun. Pretty fun, and then quickly deteriorates into something else. And she said, can I come in? I said, you can watch the first 10 minutes. And she was in the sound box, and then I was like, you know, then my assistant was going to take her out. She refused to leave, and it was a live show. And, yeah. and she was like, no, no. So she's, yeah, she stayed and watched. She outthought you on that she, one. She out, yeah. she's, she's outwitting me on every single, she's very, like me. <laughs> it's very smart to be like, yes, I will leave 10 minutes yeah, into yeah, your yeah. play, and, and then be like, leaving. I'm not going. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to yeah. make a fair amount of noise. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And there's nothing you can do about it. Then the following day, she was very respectful and let me sleep in, which doesn't oh. often happen because she's like, mom's an actor. That lasted an hour. And oh, that's like, very yeah, sweet. Yeah. One day. I, I mean, if, even if respect. you get an hour, that's something. <laughs> I know. Is she, uh, your daughter, uh, Marla, which is a beautiful name. Yeah. As she, you said she's almost 10. Can you, do you see yourself in her now? I mean, that's an age where you can tell. She's like me 2.0. I mean, okay. she's like, I, I think I had all of what she expresses contained inside and just didn't have the courage to let it out. Oh, that must be fun she's to see. extra. I mean, she's like fully out there. <laughs> I mean, kids today, you've got three now. Yes. It's, it's intense. My, and, and girls in New York City, she's like, no, no, yeah. no, you know. My, it is really amazing growing, like raising kids in, in New York, because yeah. I grew up in the suburbs. And yeah. my, we walked through Washington Square Park the other day, and my four-year-old was, wow. the, <laughs> was the weirdest person in Washington Square Park. That's like, really Like, loudly impressive. weird. Wow. He was pulling, he got out of the <laughs> stroller and pulled it behind him and kept telling people he was a UPS guy. Okay. And, <laughs> And I you love can tell, him. like even like people in Washington Square Park who are not doing well. Yes, that's that's an understatement. And they yeah, were like, yeah. "This guy has got some work to do." Wow, yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when I was growing up, I was just saying sorry the whole time. It's very English to do that. Yes. She does not. Have oh, that that's problem. nice though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this, uh, I'll use that as a transition. This show <laughs> is a very so this is a uh, this is a very British show as well. It's yes. like it's based on a scandal, and I will say I think British scandals are my favorite of the scandals. I mean, we do scandal well. You don't do we? scandal yes. very well because yes. there's a lot of pretending it isn't a scandal. Like that clip was very oh, good. Sweeping it under the rug. Yes. What scandal? It's a lovely scandal. It's fine. We'll be fine. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. What? 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 No, it quickly deteriorates into full-blown, like undeniable scandal. But yeah. it's. You know, it's David E. Kelly and Melissa James Gibson. They did The Undoing and Big Little Lies, and it's that format, and it's they're so good at it. Yeah. I love those. So shows. this is actually uh, uh, tricky, because I love The Undoing, but the British guy, Hugh Grant and that, he was suspicious the whole time because he was British. Yes, yes. But in this one, everybody's yes. British. They so yes. really don't know who to trust. <laughs> <laughs> so true. <laughs> I never trust the British man. This yeah. is, uh, yeah, I mean, he was. From the very yeah. beginning, you're like, come on, Hugh Grant. Too much hair to yeah. trust, right, at that age. Absolutely. Like, I mean, he looks he looks too good yes, to be trusted. Yes, yeah. exactly. So you, um, this is based on a book. Had you read the book? I did not read the book. Okay. I read the book after I'd read the six scripts, which okay. was so compelling. And then, you know, that thing of an actor where you have to really do the research, all of that was done for me in the book. Like, That's all of the thoughts, nice. the intention, yes. it was great. It's a and brilliant book. Do you book. usually uh, read a thriller like that? Is that a kind of book you turn to? I love them, and I will take them on a holiday, but I always get guilt that I haven't read the classics, so I kind of punish myself with my reading. Like, why am I not reading Hardy? 
that I have not read Got instead it. of this really compelling this is very addictive. noble. So you're still you're I mean, still it takes doing... me like 10 years. I've just finished War and Peace. You like did eight War and Peace. I did it. All right, so yeah. this is fascinating to me because I, uh, so I read War and Peace. Don't ask me what happened. Okay, I won't. I understood three I... words, but yes, I read so, it. So, but that's what I was going to say. I but, read it in college, but it was, a, yeah. the whole course was War and Peace. So we had yeah. a professor that sort of held our hand through all of it. Yes. And I would say like, it was a great, like having someone walk you through it, I'm like, this is really great. Yeah. But I would also say, uh, one, I don't remember anything that happened. <laughs> and uh, Seven, I can't imagine doing it alone on your own. It so was that's very you know, impressive. It was good. It started in lockdown. It ended recently. Okay. It's a long book. It's a very long book. But yeah. my God, that Tolstoy can write a book. Oh, you, you know, know what? I mean? If you, you take anything yeah, away from this yeah, interview, yes. that Tolstoy that can Tolstoy write can a book. Write. Yeah, he's good with words. Yeah. <laughs> he's not too shabby. <laughs> It's a shame. What happened to him? Is he still know. working? I don't think so. I don't think no. so. That's Hollywood yeah, for you. Well, they just they, they find a hot new thing and they just move on. <laughs> um, and you got to, uh, this was a lockdown show as well. So yes. you, uh, I got to leave yes. the lockdown to go to work, which which was really, really lucky. Yeah, and you got to be in London as well, or I guess in England. It was. Did you shoot in London? We shot at Shepperton Studios, which is outside of London and around London, okay, instead of great. Manchester. It was great. I was so ready to be around family and home, and I'd done the first bit in New York, which was intense. <laughs> yes. So I was just ready to go back. So we had this year. This and so were of... you in actual uh, sort of courthouses, or were they courthouse sets? They were sets because of COVID. They had yeah. to rebuild the Old Bailey and places like that, which gotcha. they did perfectly. Like, we have this incredible house that was all a set. I wanted to just like forklift it somewhere else and yeah, live in it forever. Live it was so nice. Did you, I mean, that old Bailey always, you know, it seems so historic. Was that something when you grew up in London, do you like go there on, on field trips? Is that like a thing you do as a, nope. as a young, no? no? No, no. We'd go to like the farm or, you know, <laughs> I wish we did. Yeah. You can actually go and sit on on real trials, which I've always, I've meant to do, but it's one of those things that I've yeah. never done. Well, you're too busy reading Tolstoy. Exactly. Yeah. Best. Yes. You've exactly. got a lot of big things yes, going I'm on. Yes, a busy lady. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. Um, well, it is always, uh, congratulations on the show. Thank it's wonderful. You. And it's always so wonderful to see you. Thanks always. so much for being here, Sienna. Thanks for having me. Sienna Miller, everybody. Anatomy of a Scandal begins streaming April 15th on Netflix.